my tokens about uh, prehistoric Samoyed Yukonir contacts. And it is uh, well known that uh, traditionally Yukonir languages were uh, regarded as uh, related to Uralic languages and forming with them Urala uh, Yukonir family. Uh, the opposite view is that uh, lexical parallels between uh, Uralic and Yukonir languages are due to uh, borrowings mainly from Samoyed into Yukonir. And the uh, uh, genetic relationship uh, position is represented uh, now by Irina uh, Nikolaeva, who is the author of the monumental uh, historical dictionary of Yukagir and proto Yukagir uh, reconstruction. And uh, the contact uh, uh, position is uh, represented uh, in the earlier by Ante Aikyo, who uh, five years ago published uh, uh, a paper about. Uh, uh, some yet borrowings uh, into Yukagir. Uh, and uh, in my view, the most convincing argument in favor of uh, the contact scenario is uh, uh, the fact that uh, vowels in Yukagir uh, words having some yet uh, parallels show results of specifically some yet splits and mergers. So uh, some yet uh, phonetic uh, innovations with respect to proto uralic are reflected in words uh, that uh, uh, are present in Yukagir. So we see that, for example, for example, proto uralic a uh, can uh, yield uh, proto samayet a or proto samayet labialized vowel a under different conditions, and uh, when samayet has a. Uh, Yukagir in the same word uh, words has a, and when someone yet has a low labialized vowel, uh, Yukagir has labialized vowel o. And uh, for example, uh, proto uralic u uh, under different uh, conditions yields in proto yet either u or uh, schwa. Uh, and uh, Proto Samoyed U is uh, corresponds to Proto Yukagir O, uh, which is uh, expected because uh, while U is uh, reconstructed for Proto Yukagir, uh, U is a harmonically front vowel in Yukagir, and uh, possibly it was a phonetically front vowel too, so it is uh, obvious that uh, foreign U uh, will be replaced by uh, the Back vowel or rather that by uh, u that is uh, that was actually u. Uh, so uh, when uh, we have u in Samoyed, we have o in proto Yukagir, and we have, when we have schwa from proto Yukagir, u, we have proto Yukagir a. And uh, it is known that uh, Samoyed had, had actually two schwa uh, phonemes, a front and a back one, uh, but. Uh, they uh, are distinct morphophonologically, but uh, uh, yield the same reflexes in uh, Dota uh, Samoyed languages, and they uh, uh, have the same correspondence in proto Yukagir. Uh, so when we have a proto Samoyed schwa, no matter back or front, it is uh, replaced in uh, Yukagir by A. Uh, to me, this uh, picture clearly shows that uh, we deal with borrowings from uh, Samoyed and not with uh, the uh, genetic relationship uh, between Uralic and Yukagir. But, uh, and, uh, so we have some examples uh, of these uh, correspondences. They can be also, uh, uh, you can also look uh, at the whole list in the uh, IQ uh, paper I refer to. So we see that when Samayat has A, Yukagir has A, and when Samayat has O, Yukagir has O. And the same with the vowel U, and uh, with uh, the case when uh, Samayat has front schwa from some front vowel, perhaps E, uh, that is also rep uh, replaced in Yukagir by A. Uh, but uh, there is uh, some somewhat paradoxical situation uh, uh, that was uh, commented on by Aikyo 
when he wrote that it must be admitted, however, that the high proportion of basic vocabulary items remains a puzzling feature of the corpus of potential Samoyed loanwords in Yukagir. Because uh, normally we uh, are accustomed to situations, uh, uh, especially when we deal with uh, contacts between various Uralic branches and various branches of Indo-European languages, uh, when uh, we have lots and lots of cultural loanwords and only some items of basic vocabulary, for example, Baltic uh, borrowings in Finnic have uh, items of basic vocabulary such as uh, neck and tooth and uh, sister uh, and uh, daughter, but uh, also lots and lots of cultural words. Uh, here uh, the situation is different. We have some cultural words, some kind of net and uh, so on, but uh, uh, most of these words are uh, really basic vocabulary. So is uh, is there really a paradox here? Uh, actually, basic vocabulary is not homogeneous. It uh, can uh, be uh, ranked by its stability uh, from the most stable to the least stable items and uh, any um, particular, list, uh, particular list of basic vocabulary, for example, Swedish 100 word list, can be ranked from the uh, most stable to the least uh, stable word, uh, and uh, we can expect, uh, can expect that uh, when we deal with uh, genetically related languages, uh, the more stable half of the list will show more matches than the least, uh, the less stable half, and uh, vice versa. When we uh, deal with contacts, we we'll uh, we'll expect that the least uh, stable half on the list will uh, have more matches than the most stable half. And uh, he will use the ranking scale proposed in the article by Kuznikov in uh, 2014, but uh, there are many uh, various uh, attempts at ranking uh, the Swedish list by stability. I think that any of them will show more or less the same results. I simply, for convenience, choose the uh, version by Vesnikov. And uh, uh, I can demonstrate the, uh, how uh, genetic relationship, uh, more or less distant, uh, looks like in the basic vocabulary. Here we have matches between Hittite and Albanian, two uh, distantly related in the European languages. We have 14 matches in the uh, more stable half of the list here, uh, ranks of the words are represented by superscript uh, numbers from one, the most uh, stable uh, item, to uh, 100, the least stable item. Uh, so we have 14 matches uh, in the more stable half of the list and only three matches in the less stable half of the list, and even they are ranked 52, 54, 50, uh, 55, but not uh, lower. Uh, another example is uh, Tundra Nenets and Hungarian, also uh, uncontroversially related languages. And here we have also 14 matches in the more stable half of the list and 6 matches in the less stable half. Uh, so, uh, uh, what is important is not the absolute numbers, uh, if the languages are related more closely, uh, absolute numbers will be uh, greater and uh, vice versa, but uh, the proportion, uh, the more stable half contains, uh, has a, a higher percentage of uh, matches than the less stable half if we deal with genetic relationship. So let's look at uh, Urala uh, Yukagir. Parallels, I speak of Urala Yukagir uh, instead of Samayet Yukagir because uh, actually uh, uh, a number of words uh, represented in Yukagir are uh, absent from Samayet. Uh, apparently they were lost and uh, sometimes, sometimes they show clearly Samayet phonetic uh, results of clearly Samoyed phonetic processes, but the uh, lexical items themselves were lost from Samoyed, so I will compare uh, Yukagir uh, directly with Uralic. Uh, if we take uh, comparisons accepted by Ante Aikyo in his paper uh, as Samoyed pre-Samoyed borrowers into Yukagir, uh, we have one match in the more stable half of the list, uh, that is name, and six matches in the less stable half of the list, and we 
See the Rankin 62, uh, Root 62, Mount 63, Breast 64, and 80. Four state 85 and cold 94. So they even in the uh, less stable half there are more uh, woods that are uh, uh, closer to the bottom of the uh, uh, ranked uh, Swedish list. Uh, but uh, I think that I uh, uh, missed some uh, uh, parallels or uh, rejected uh, uh, them. Uh, without, uh, in my view, sufficient grounds, so we uh, uh, must uh, add uh, uh, some words. Uh, here are uh, the matches uh, uh, that I talk of: Nimi, name, and proto Yupagir uh, Nim, uh, Wancha, uh, root, and Wunch, root, Anna, mouth, and Anna, mouth, Melki, breast, and uh, Mel, breast. Samayet lost this word, and Koye, male, also not preserved in Samayet. Boy, male, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, but uh, uh, at least three words from the Swedish list mm. must be added because uh, I have for some reason rejected them, but, but I think uh, he was wrong. Uh, for example, the word for bark, uh, it also means skin, but as skin, it is not the main word for skin in uh, Uralic or Ipagir, uh, but as bark, it is main word for bark in Finnic and uh, the main word for bark in Ipagir. Uh, it is kare uh, proto samayev kar skin under the hair uh, surface and uh, proto yukagiv kar skin bar. This is a relatively straightforward uh, parallel. Uh, and uh, one more parallel uh, that must be added is the word for me. Uh, I would reconstruct pulhi for proto uralic. Uh, it yields proto samayev pua, but uh, in Western Uralic, we have forms like Finnic Polvi, which actually uh, must go back to the compound uh, puh, something like Puhi Levi Mini Bo. Phonetic details may differ, I do not insist on uh, the particular uh, uh, reconstru uh, details of uh, this reconstruction, but uh, uh, since Samayet must have lost some consonant, uh, it at least may have been uh, something like H or W. And we have proto yukagir uh me reconstructed by Nikolaeva in her uh, dictionary, and uh, I think that it is a perfect match, both semantically and phonologically. And the third word is more complicated. Usually it is reconstructed at, uh, as a proto uralic lunta, uh, but I think that uh, it rather must be reconstructed as uh, uh, lunta is reconstructed on the basis of Sami reflects lunta with the uh, meaning bird, and uh, other reflexes mean duck, goose, a bird, flying ex uh, insect, and a wild animal. I would rather reconstruct lunti because uh, Dubric languages uh, show vowels that are uh, uh, easier to explain, uh, starting from uh, uh, e in the second syllable than from the a in the second syllable. And on the other hand, protophytic word lintu uh, can result from metaphysis uh, from lunti lintu. And as we see, uh, Finnic words mean not only bird, not only uh, wild, uh, but also wild animal in Livonian and Estonian, according to Wiedemann's dictionary. And uh, also, uh, there is even a word Metzalind, uh, Wildestir, and Wolf. Uh, uh, it is uh, obviously a tabooistic name for Wolf, but uh, uh, nevertheless. And uh, I would compare this with proto yukagir nonta, a uh, word for bird, duck, wild animal, and uh, surprisingly wolf. Uh, so this is, was a general word for bird and wild uh, animal. Uh, and if we uh, reconstruct proto uralic lunti rather than lunta, then we can expect that Samayet uh, must have had u in the first syllable and not schwa and this U uh, regularly corresponds to proto yukanir O. And assimilation uh, le na uh, must have happened on the yukanir soil, uh, since we have, for example, proto yukanir lambda low, old yukanir, one of the varieties of old yukanir, has nam uh with the same kind of assimilation. Uh, so if we add these three words, we uh, have the following results. We have one match in the more stable half of the list and 
nine matches in the list, stable half of the list. I think that this is uh, this clearly shows uh, the contact uh, scenario is uh, better. But uh, uh, those who insist on a uh, genetic relationship uh, might uh, object that I uh, omitted uh, the whole uh, set of uh, pronouns uh, which uh, IQ does not uh, consider as borrowings from Samayet into Yopagir for obvious phonetic reasons, mean, net, and so on. They are not uh, easily uh, uh, adapted uh, using the same uh, set of correspondences that exists in the words I uh, shown uh, earlier, but uh, these are uh, interesting but not exclusive uh, matches. They are found in many many other languages of Eurasia. So whether they represent some super deep genetic relationship or equally super deep contacts they are not, uh, cannot be used for the uh, proof of urala yukagir genetic specific relationship. So, uh, but even if we include all these grammatical, uh, so to say, matches, we still have more matches in the less stable half of the list uh, than uh, in the more stable half. So even when all is included, uh, we have the same result. And uh, there are also uh, uh, the second uh, thing that I wanted uh, to show that uh, there are uh, some words uh, uh, that are uh, present in Samayet and Yukagir that cannot be of Uralic origin because of their phonotactics uh, mainly. And in all such cases, Aikyo leaves the direction of borrowing undetermined because uh, theoretically they may have been borrowed into uh, Samoyed from some third language and then from Samoyed to Yukagir. But at least in two cases, uh, we can show that uh, these words are Yukagir in origin. So the word for Mos, uh, proto Samoyed Narso, uh, and proto Yukagir Nurche, according to Nikolaeva, Nurche is uh, derived from proto Yukagir Nyoro. Uh, and another derivative of the same root is Koloma, uh, Yukadir, Nyoroi, Pool, and Mos. But this is not the, mod, uh, the most interesting example, because the most interesting example is the word fall asleep, protosomayat conta, uh, which uh, is uh, somehow related to, uh, in, borrowed from uh, in some direction, uh, uh, connected with proto Yukadir conto lai. Uh, but proto yukagir root is actually counted with the front vowel. And uh, when uh, root with the vowel er, uh, when we add a resultative suffix o to them, they show results of a regular yukagir umlaut. Uh, so here we see three examples of this umlaut where roots with uh, first syllable er uh, uh, change this uh, vowel to back o when uh, resultative suffix o is added. Uh, and it is clear that phonetically uh, proto samayat conto can only go back to a derived Yukagir form uh, that uh, shows the results of a specifically Yukagir uh, morphophonological process, uh, loud uh, or. And from a uh, semantic point of view, uh, samayat word has a specialized meaning to sleep, to fall asleep, and uh, various derivatives of this root in Yukagir. Uh, mean to lie, to put down, to put into, to lay down, to kill. So, in my view, there can be no doubt that this uh, particular word must be borrowed from Yukagir into Samayet and not, for example, from some third language into Samayet and then from Yuka uh, and then into Yukagir. Uh, so, these are references and thank you.
I think it sounds a bit anachronistic because it looks like this uh, earth ought change in the country of matter in rather recent and it's compared to the Protestant work. So I think it's somehow unlikely that uh, it could have evolved into Protestant with the recent geography but this uh, morphophonological change uh, is uh, attested both in uh, Kulama and uh, Tundra varieties, so why it uh, must be recent? At least is, uh, it uh, affects uh, velars as a front vowel. So we have k uh, velar but not k uvular uh, before this vowel. And I would like to add that uh, uh, lexical distance between Tanja and Kolema uh, uh, Yugadir languages is uh, approximately, if we count word from the Swedish list, is approximately uh, the same as between Russian and Latvian. So they are more distant than any two Samogetic languages. So I think that uh, despite uh, 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 large uh, similarity in morphology and phonology, uh, proto uh may be actually older than proto Samoyed.